Today I'm looking to address a pretty popular theory in the coffee drinking making world and that is pre-wedding filters. Does it really matter that much? Generally what somebody will do is they'll soak the filter with hot water before they add the ground coffee and continue on with the brew. This is basically just to get out the papery taste of the filter and it makes sense. I mean these are paper filters and when hot water comes into contact with them you know some undesirable papery taste can end up in your final cup of coffee but what I'm looking to answer is whether that's really true. I mean is it that significant that you have to actually go through this extra step every time you brew your coffee. So I'm going to first brew a cup with a filter that isn't wet, as you see here. Then I'm going to brew a cup with one that is wet. And I'm just going to compare them side by side in terms of taste and see if I notice any significant papery tastes or not. This is the pre-wetted filter, not sure if you can tell or not, um, but yeah, darker, attached to the edges. So I mean, I guess that's another benefit is that it gets the filter stuck to the edges of the actual coffee dripper. Uh, so here goes the brew. So after multiple sips of both cups of coffee, it's pretty inconclusive, or I guess you could say that my conclusion is that there's really no difference between the two cups of coffee. I didn't taste any papery taste in either cup. In fact, both cups of coffee tasted virtually the same to me. So, is it a necessary step to pre-wet your filters? Eh, maybe if you want to keep your filter in place in your... Uh, cone dripper but aside from that I really don't think there's much of a point at least after doing this this split test between a pre-wetted filter and one that is completely dry I suppose also the quality of the filters themselves play a big role in whether you're gonna have this papery taste ending up in your cup so make sure that you buy good quality filters I like the unbleached kinds um, Melita or Melita, I still don't know how to pronounce that brand, but they make good ones that are very popular on the coffee filter market. So there you have it, pre-wetting filters, probably not that necessary.